I look a hot mess right now. I don't think I did. I don't know. I have a marshmallow. Tim, don't have marshmallow. Oh, I just caught that. So we get those marshmallows. Get them. Get them. Go ahead. Go get them. Hey, I'm cheating. Oh, you got one. It's like hungry, hungry hippo. <laughs> Good morning, it's Vlogmas day five, and it is Sunday morning, um, and I'm gonna go get some coffee, Tim just made coffee, and then we are gonna film the holiday um, tag for you guys. Um, it's like a, <laughs> Toby's doing tricks for marshmallows. No more marshmallows for Toby. Marshmallows for Toby. <laughs> no. Sure. I'm rocking the socks and sandals. I like it, do it. Look, we can do a no, whoa. Oh, dancing machine. <laughs> he can't dance as well on the hardwood. The poor child. I've never seen him. Yeah. Okay, don't give him any more. He'll get sick. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to go get my coffee and set up my tripod here in our living room. And we'll film the holiday tag for you guys. Also, look out here. Right, it's a winter wonderland. It's so, <laughs> you figured it out. Tim Swiffering for the first time in life, I think. But it's so hey. pretty. It snowed so much last night. I love it. Look how pretty. Oh, I love Christmas decoration. Hi, little Tobes. Some advanced technology. <laughs> Keep going, honey. Keep going. You're doing a good job. Cut it out. <laughs> Not the child, Eddie. <laughs> I'm gonna use using my reindeer mug. Tim keeps trying to give all my mugs away because I have a mug problem. Check it out. Okay, this isn't even half of them, so we have a bunch here. And then if you walk over here, you can see on the counter, we used like six, seven mugs last night, and then <laughs> more in our dishwasher. So every time someone comes over, Tim tries to get rid of a mug. And he no, was trying. It's our, it's our thing. No, he was we trying. Give away no, he was. It. He was trying to give our niece and nephew my reindeer and my Santa mug. But these are my only Christmas mugs, and they're my favorite. So that was never gonna happen. So in my coffee, I put one pack of trivia. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'll probably um, I'm adding topping this off with regular coffee. So Tim normally makes pots of regular coffee, and I drink half calf. <laughs> I'm super sensitive to caffeine. Makes me really jittery, so. Um, but I like a little bit, so I'm going to um, put the put regular coffee in there, and then I put a little bit of my hazelnut sugar-free creamer. And we love this, by the way. This is the Ninja Coffee Bar. This is like our little coffee bar over here, which is very cute. Um, but this is the Ninja Coffee Bar, and it makes um, like cup size, like eight ounce size travel, a half carafe, which is like, this is the carafe that goes with it or a full one. And you can do classic or rich. So if you want like a really dark roast, you can also do an over ice brew, which is like for iced coffee and it's a little more concentrated for when ice melts and then specialty brew. So it does espresso and things like that. Um, and then it's got cleaning and all that fun stuff. So yeah. Making a ninja commercial over there. <laughs> Tim, what did your mug say? What does it say, honey? <laughs> Do you like my butt? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna film this tag. We have our heated blanket. Tim's using our heated blanket. He never uses a heated blanket. Okay, wardrobe change. I gotta get my coffee. I need to drink it. I got really just a little intense with the pour. I spilled it on the way over. So this is the Holly Jolly tag. And I legitimately just Googled like Vlogmas Christmas related tags um, and I can't find very many. So if you guys know of one that you want us to do, um, let us know because I want to do some like Christmas themed stuff for Vlogmas. I, I haven't know. really done much. There's not a great chance I'm going to do a whole lot of these. Yeah, you guys vote for it. So it's just like a bunch of questions and we're just going to answer them. So the first one is what's our favorite Christmas movie? Uh, am I answering for you? No, you answer for you. Like Elf. what's your favorite? Elf's your favorite Christmas movie? Yeah. Gosh, I love all the Christmas movies. It's true. I really love Elf, but I probably like, I'm going to go with the one that I could never go a Christmas without watching and that's The Grinch. Mm, that's a good one. The yeah. New Grinch? Yeah, The New Grinch. Are you on the naughty list or the nice list? I'm nice, you're naughty. 
I'm definitely nice. Mm -hmm. No, I'm definitely on the nice list. Your thermostat maneuvers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> I keep turning the heat up and Tim keeps getting mad at me. Welcome to married life. Hmm. <laughs> Have you ever had a white Christmas? Yes, we had a lot of white Christmases in West Virginia. Growing up, we had like... <laughs> Touching my bun. Stop touching my bun. Can't stop. The book says it. <laughs> like in West Virginia, it doesn't snow a lot, but you'd, we'd get like an inch or two normally every Christmas, and I'd say like 90% of the time we had a white Christmas. And he lives in he lived in Minnesota, so yeah, lots of white Christmas. That I did. That um, I did, Abby. Now you do too. Where do you usually spend your holiday? I know I do too. So I usually spend it in West Virginia. This will be this would have been my first year spending it here, but we're going home for Christmas to West Virginia. <laughs> So I'm excited. Apparently West Virginia. West Virginia, yeah. That, yeah, I'm really excited to go home for Christmas. I've actually spent every Christmas at home. I've never spent it anywhere else. Um, Tim usually spends it here. Mm -hmm. You've never spent it anywhere else, have you? Correct. Yeah. Play or sing your favorite Christmas song? Play. Okay, okay. You play yours first. Coffee break. Mm. I need to get to YouTube. Found it. Yeah. Why YouTube? What is it? It's not on Spotify? I'm confused. Can you guys see Toby right here? He's laying down. Oh yeah, I think you can see him. Hey, it's Rochelle here with Abdiff. Rochelle's my Christmas favorite song. Christmas This is a great song. You sing alone, you can sing in front of other people. There's no difference. Actually, there's a big difference. Turn that one away. Christmas song. Oh, what about the I'm here with my dad and we've never met and he wants me to sing him a song. I was adopted. Also good that one born. came up uh, higher on YouTube. But I'm here now. I found I'm you. Singing. Daddy. And guess what? I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay. I have a whole Christmas play playlist that I just made for myself and for all of our members. Which I've heard a lot recently. It's true. So, I love this one. From last year. It's like From a newer last song. Year? This came out last year. I believe. Yeah, it did. There's no way this came out last year. Yeah, it did. Ariana Grande. No, it's Ariana Grande. So that is definitely one of them. And then I love this gift by 98 Degrees. Oh, man. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is your favorite Christmas song? No, it's just good. Okay, those are like two good You gotta do ones. better. Stop I know, Tim. Okay, my actual ultimate favorite Christmas song. Amy Grant Christmas album is my favorite Christmas album of all time. Never even heard of Amy Grant. It's fine. It's fine. I I can't. Who knows grown up Christmas list? Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Oh. Have you really never heard this song? This is like... Amy, this is like a Christmas classic. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Here it is. Let me see what she looks like. Don't pause it. I'm not going to. Yeah, I don't know that person. Oh, it's the Christmas list for the world. It makes me so happy and I'll cry, also cry. This show going. The show goes on. Okay, one more minute. No, minute. no more one minutes. One more second. Mine was very efficient. It was a 35 second clip. All right, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Do you guys? We always did the two family thing. So one of the families, we'd just have full blown Christmas on Christmas Eve and we'd have our Christmas. 
Oh, like so with your mom's yes, family or something? With my dad's family. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that about you. Mm -hmm. Um, got it. And, and then, then what did you? So we do dad's Christmas, Christmas Eve, our little family unit Christmas in yeah. the morning, and then like later go to your side. mom's side that yeah. day. Yeah. So we did. Um, so growing up, we always had Christmas Eve dinner at my parents' house. So like all our cousins and everybody would come over. It, it was like um, like 25 of us, I think. And we also hosted Thanksgiving. So at Thanksgiving, we drew names. So the adults would draw names and the kids would draw names. And then we um, do that on Christmas Eve. So that's the only present that we open. And then in recent years, my sisters and I do a sisters exchange. Um, and, and so we open that present on Christmas Eve too. Can you name all of Santa's reindeer? No, I actually, it's very sad. Try before I go. Rudolph, I got that one. Donner, Blitzen, Prancer. Okay. Dasher. Oh, Donner, oh, Blitzen, oh, Dasher. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. Comet and Cupid and Donner. Comet and, and Cupid, I always forget. What that. do you recall, baby? Rudolph. The most famous reindeer of all. Yeah, Rudolph. Rudolph the Red-Nosed <laughs> Reindeer. You got close though. I think you only forgot Comet. Did you forget Cupid though? Mm-hmm. What holiday tradition are you looking forward to most this year? I get to do all the new holiday traditions. Yeah, he gets to do all the Esmond Shade ones. Um, which like, I just love all of them. Get like to squat up. Yeah, I shades. love Christmas Eve at our house, like with all of our cousins. I love the gift exchange. The sister exchange, we like sit around the tree and watch a Christmas movie, drink hot chocolate. In the morning, we make hot chocolate and coffee. Like, go, we wake up early because we're still children and we go out. And my dad still goes out to the, um, to the Christmas tree every morning and he's like, looks like Santa came. <laughs> still does it. We're all over the age of 20, 20 years old and he still does that. And, uh. Did you just forget how old Molly was? Yeah, I really, I did. And that's, that's why I said 20. <laughs> 22. She's 22. <laughs> I'm the worst. Is she 22 or is she 21? <laughs> Wait, she was born. She's six years younger than me. Right, so, so she's 22. Feel free to use your... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I hope she's not watching. Okay. Um, is your Christmas tree real or fake? But last year we had a tree. An unfortunate looking tree. Yeah, a tree that looked phallic. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. It was bad. It was really bad. I'll, maybe I'll insert a clip here for you guys. A picture of what our tree was like last year. Um, hands down, what's your all-time favorite holiday food and holiday sweet treat? I don't know if there's one that sticks out, really. Really? Yeah. Because it's just another one of those big old meals with mashed potatoes and a lot of meat. So it's always good. I would have said like mashed me. potatoes is your favorite. I really like the meat though, I gotta say. Yeah, that's true. What's your favorite sweet treat though? Like holiday sweet? Uh, my mom always made these like sort of chocolatey powdered sugar ball things. Oh. Little cookies. Mm-hmm. And well, they're still soft. Oh. Those are good. <laughs> um, so my favorite holiday food, if we're including Thanksgiving, it's sweet potatoes. But if we're not, then it's corn casserole, which is like like a cornbread souffle kind of thing that my family makes. It's like super simple and easy, one but I love it. Brought to Thanksgiving. Yeah. It was delish. Yeah, it's it was really good. good. It's one of my favorites. Um, and then my favorite like holiday sweet is apple pie with ice cream. I'm not a coffee. You are? Go get your coffee. Go get your go get your coffee. <laughs> coffee break over. We're back. Do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? Giving. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, I love giving gifts too. Especially when like you have, you found something so good, like you picked out like the perfect gift, you know? Which doesn't always happen. You know, you get like, you have good gifts when you find like the gift that you know that is the gift. It's really good. Okay, what would be your dream place to visit for a holiday season? I don't know. I some old-timey European town. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, too. I was going to say some place in England. Some place with cobblestone. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I like, because of the holiday, too. Like, that, the movie that totally, like... That's not why I chose mine. But... Yeah. Okay. I love the movie The Holiday. Oh, my gosh, it's so good. 
Does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to help make? Yes. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't say this when I said my favorite sweet treat. My mom has these like infamous sugar cookies that we, she makes like 250 of them and we ice them all on Christmas Eve day. No, the day before Christmas Eve. And she makes all shapes and sizes and they're like very intricate, like the icing and stuff. I'll have to vlog it for, I did vlog it last year. It's in Vlogmas from last year. I'll link that video below so you can see us icing them, but they're like, I mean, we make all the colors and it's a rainbow of shapes and sizes. Stop touching my butt. So yeah, like I help make that. And the dough, oh, I mean, it's like from scratch and you refrigerate it and it, it like it's the best cookie dough I've ever tasted. It's sugar cookie dough. Oh, it's I'm going to eat a lot of that cookie Yeah, dough. it's going to be really, really, really good. I can't wait to do it. You deal though. Wow. Probably. Um, we used to stand there when my mom would cut a shape out. We would just snag it and like eat a whole cookie worth of cookie dough. And we'd get in trouble a lot. Is there a special dough. recipe that you helped make? No. No, I didn't think so. Okay. I helped with the aforementioned cookies. Yeah, right, the cookie dough. Okay, does your, oh wait, are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? I try, but I'm not. I'm, I've gotten a lot better. Actually, See, my present wrapping skills seem to fluctuate from they're, year to year. They're pretty good. Last year you did a really good job wrapping my presents. Oh, nice. Most memorable holiday moment. Oh, man. I don't know if I have one. Does, if it doesn't have to be Christmas, I think my funniest moment is when my dad fell at the turkey trot trying to beat that was him. pretty good. Yeah. On Thanksgiving morning in West that Virginia. That was like the second time I'd ever... Met him, right? Yeah, it was. And Met your parents. Tim right? came to for Christmas a couple years ago. Or not Christmas, Thanksgiving. We do a turkey trot. It's like a 5K in Parkersburg. And um, we just walked it. We didn't run it. He was looking around for us to see where we ended up because we were behind him the whole race. And then we took off <coughs> and ran by him and just hollered back at him. And when he realized, he turned to run. <laughs> to catch up and immediately got sniped and just and hit the ground i don't know how it was possible somebody was taking pictures of, of, of they're everyone they're taking pictures at the finish so there's line. like a, there, it's like slow motion like you can see my dad like ah, 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 and then like flat on the ground like there's like a a progression of pictures of him falling and it is so funny like it my good. family still tells that story all the time <laughs> oh my gosh um what made you realize the truth about santa this was oh. the saddest day of my life. I was the baby in my family, so it was more of a, there wasn't a magic moment. It was just sort of faded away over time. Eldest children are the one that ones that really go through it. Yeah, that was me. So I was in sixth grade. Yeah, I was in sixth grade. And uh, are you sure you want to admit? I was you the were one. Out yeah, absolutely. I was the one of all my friends that my friends um, still kept it a secret for me. Really anyway, nice. so my sisters then were two years younger than me, and um, I had asked a lot of questions. Like, I had asked, like, where does where did the presents come from? Like, do you buy presents? Like, does, how does Santa... Like, I was really curious, and I kind of was, like, I wanted to believe it, so I didn't really want to know the answers to it. So anyway, on uh, Christmas Day, we were opening presents and I was like so excited and thanking Santa like I always did. I would always be like, thank you, Santa. You're the best Santa. Why are you laughing? Nothing, because I guarantee I can just hear your dad talking to your mom like, she's in the sixth grade. <laughs> like we have, this is ridiculous. I'm telling you. <gasps> yeah. And your he, mom be like, no, don't do Yeah, it. she was so mad. She knew what he was doing and he was like, Abby, come here. And so he pulled me in there and he was like, so I know you've asked a lot of questions. Like I want... I just want you to know that like your mom and I are Santa and we put the presents out and I was heartbroken. It was like the worst Christmas of my life. My mom was so mad. My mom cried. I cried for like a really long time. And but then I was very good at like keeping my sisters and like protecting them so they didn't have to find out in the same way. And eventually like obviously they found out. Did but they all make it to the sixth grade too? No, I was the furthest for sure. But uh yeah, I know it's really embarrassing, but whatever. <laughs> And I, well, he told me the year that I asked for the bell from Santa's sleigh. I was really into the Polar Express, and I wanted a bell, and he got me a bell. And um, for those of you who don't know what the Polar Express is, you really need to read the book. It's amazing. It's wonderful. But I asked for it, and that's the year he told me, and so I was, like, really devastated. But I still have the bell. And it rings for all those who truly believe.
<laughs> Stop touching my bun. Okay, my camera's gonna die. Um, do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? Yes, and yes. I've recently discovered in the, kind of. I don't know. I think you have to make mid-year resolutions. I think you have to like adapt your resolutions. So do I make them? Yes, but then you have to be flexible with them. So when things change, like as they always do, I think people get really obsessed with sticking to the exact resolution when it needs to change course a little bit and there's nothing wrong with that. So in the past, I've made hard, like steadfast resolutions that I haven't wanted to change and so then I've not stuck to them. But um, in recent years, I've just kind of altered them throughout the year and felt really good about it. Um, I don't know. What about you? Mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's one thing I desperately wanted to change it. I yeah. Think I'd just do it. So I, yeah. I meant like you don't have to wait for New Year's to do it, but mm -hmm. it is, there is something that's like cathartic about it, it being like a new year and a yeah, fresh we start. Yeah, a lot about that. So. Yeah. For sure. Even like, but like, I also feel that way when a, a new week, like on Mondays and a new month. So I don't have to feel, wait for the new year for that. I like, I can let that happen whenever, but there is something really cool about it being like a new year. And if there's something big you want to change, I think it's really cool. Um, what makes the holidays special for you? That's the last one. That's such a serious question. Well, I mean, not really. You can answer however you want. Family, friends, world peace. Yeah, right? No, I think it's, I like, it. will you stop touching my bun? Your bun. I love it when um, huge amounts of people um, gather, celebrate, experience something together. It's part of the reason why this is actually going to sound super ridiculous right now, but I love like the Super Bowl and like big events like that where I know people are like all doing the same thing at one time and like and that's why I love the holiday season is because I feel like it's a, it's just a time of happiness most of the time. And sometimes it's not, it's, a, it's sadness, but I just like when everybody is like unified with one thing and I, that's why I like the holidays. That's a good answer. Thanks. Nice so that's our holiday tag, you guys. Do you have anything else you want to say? Negative. Stop touching my bun! Theme of this video, Tim touches Abby's bun. <laughs> okay, that is the Christmas tag. I'm just going to call it the Christmas tag. If you do it, um, tag me in it and uh, and let me know. Send me a link or something so I can watch it or post below if you do it. And um, we'll see you guys in another Vlogmas video. Make sure to put any um, things you want us to do, like challenges, tags, things like that in the comments. I can't find very many holiday tags, so if there's something that you want to see, let us know and we'll get Tim in another video. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Yeah, all right. That's Vlogmas Day 5. Enjoy your day. Mwah! Can you blow them a kiss? No. Mwah! Go hit that button.